So today I'm going to show you how to find out where a short link will lead you on the internet before you actually click on it. Um, PewDiePie recently did a video about this, about how commonly people will click on these short links in the comments without having any idea where they're going to lead them, and a lot of the times it's to advertisements and stuff like that. So it's actually kind of a big deal like that you would want to know where this is going to go because while short links can be really helpful, like basically it makes the link a lot shorter and then also he can like update a whole bunch of links at once instead of having to go through every time a web page changes. Um, it can also be used for evil, like to make you think you're going to be directed to one place, but direct you to uh, like an advertisement website or um, like something even potentially like that could give you viruses. So uh, it's important to know where it's actually going to lead you. So it's actually pretty simple to do. Like I just, he has a few short links in here that I'll uh, experiment on for you. So like uh, I'll just highlight this one right here. So this one would be for PewDiePie's app uh, for Android. So this should take you to the Android store. But just looking at the link, you can't tell where it's actually going to lead you. So if you just highlight it, right click and go to copy and then open up a new tab and then paste it, then just add a plus symbol at the end of it and then just hit enter. And what it does is instead of bringing you to the web address where it's linked to, it brings you to the statistics page for that link. So you'll see here that this is the address it was gonna bring us to, which is the Google Play Store, which would make sense because it's for an Android app. Um, and then you can also see how often people are clicking it. Like just that one link um, has been clicked 1.7 million times, which is pretty interesting actually. But um, biggest thing is that you can use it for safety and to actually know where it's gonna bring you. And this works for more than just one type of link. So like those ones are uh, bit.ly links, but you'll see there's all kinds of other ones. Like for example, there's uh, the Google shortener, which makes it instead of bit.ly, it's goo.gl. So if I just type in a, a random one here, like if I do Google and say I'm not a robot here, all the images with trees, I think that's all, I don't know that one too. Um, then it'll give me a URL here. So then this one, I can also highlight this one, go to another web browser, uh, and then just add a plus at the end. And then again, it will just give me statistics for it. And like it says exactly where it leads is to google.com. This isn't necessarily gonna work with every single short link generator, but everyone that I've tried, like everyone that's like reputable, it works for, so. That's the easy way to tell where a short link will lead you before you actually click on it.